You've got a hat here, but you've got no hair. <laughs> it's the worst of issues. G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with the boys again. Um, we're going to react to our AFL pre-season predictions. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, probably watch it first. But, uh, well, you don't have to actually, because we're going to react to it no. with you. Watch it. Get the views. Definitely oh yeah, get the views. It. Yeah, watch, watch it. it. Mm. Watch it. It ended up ticking over during the year and getting a lot of views mm. and it's got like 900 comments. Mostly <laughs> negative comments. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is us reacting to our pre-season predictions. Everyone just looks the same. Headline we will see, Damien Hardwick's time at Richmond is over. <laughs> Oh, See, so not all, <laughs> not all predictions are right. Um, unfortunately, the Tigers went on to win the, the flag that year. Unfortunately. This is actually the first time I met you, Dutch. I don't reckon it was. I reckon it was. So, Coco went for Jack Zeeble. He, he really didn't pull hey. much, did he? The Warren came 64th. Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, Equals 64th with six votes. That's Where? competitive. Well done, well done Caden. Where is Josh Kelly? Surely he got more than four votes. I must have skipped it. <laughs> Dangerfield was the top of all our predictions. Oh no, Josh, Josh Kelly got 10 votes, he came 35th. It's just a shame you won't see how wrong you are at the end of the season because you're likely to have overdosed on Christian Bale. <laughs> that didn't happen. That still stands. It doesn't happen. That's, That's another, another prediction he's gotten wrong. I've never seen in my time watching a Oh, yeah, boy, did you cop it. Dutch said North Melbourne's list is the worst yeah. list he's ever seen in oh, AFL history. Oh, bad call. And they came ninth. That's nothing special, but. I mean, They're not, not is, the worst list more on. <laughs> not as much higher than Carlton. But Gold Coast list this year coming out <laughs> is coming. No way! So, so, so the worst list we've ever seen. Come <laughs> on, medalist. I'm a medalist. Dano was there. He played about one game. Now, Buddy Franklin, right, in his third year, got 100 goals this season. Talking logic. Done some analysis. Talking logic. We're David King in the war room. The Colonel. Kick five in round one. Yeah, he was like, he was on track. I'm gonna go with Charlie Dixon. Very tall. You know what he had? A Charlie Dixon year. Charlie Dixon's just fat and not very good. Yeah, so a lot of the comments that were feeding through during the year was everyone's quite. A lot of people are actually genuinely impressed by your predictions, Cook. Everyone's yeah. like, they're getting into the guy on the left, but he's predicted them pretty well. And yeah, Benny Brown, yeah, Ben Brown probably should have won it. I was, yeah. Anyone could pick Ben Brown to finish top three in the Cullman, really. Why didn't <laughs> well, well, you pick him? <laughs> a bloke who played one game. Yeah, because I picked him for top one. I would have had top Ben one. Brown at top three. Yeah, I would have had Ben Brown second easy. Really oh, well, we all would have <laughs> Pixies yeah, and yeah. daisies. Wooden spoon for the 2018 season. It's, oh, who's wrong, wrong? Now, here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Do you want to stop, stop the video here? This is a you got, a, you got an apology prepared or is something? Is there a moron alert coming? <laughs> oh, mm. no. You know what? Right, here we go. Bomb, 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 bomb. Listen to this part again. <laughs> this part. Average least pool coach. Nathan Buckley oh, won coach of the year. <laughs> he won the best coach of the year. As far as I'm concerned, if you're not first, you're last. So <laughs> no play. There you go. They may have all won the spin. So what, what no one remembers the run up. <laughs> so what have you got to say about that one, Rog? Um, I probably got that one wrong. Um, Nathan Buckley. Probably. <laughs> what are you talking about? You've, you've been bold middle stump, mate. Goal. Well, you watch next year, they won't make the eight. <laughs> this was a one, this oh, was a one, one off. off. It was He's a one still off. Rolling with it. It's a one off stinker. <laughs> yeah, let's stick to your story, fair play. Adelaide first, Giants, Sydney, Tigers. Yeah, I got one. You got one. Richmond the in the top four. Yeah, you Richmond. got the Tigers. So you got one. Adelaide number one, Bryce Gibbs takes me to a premiership. Didn't happen. Gibbs E. Danger, that guts. didn't happen. <laughs> Richmond number three. Oh, there we go, there's one in there. Got the toes. And uh, number four would be Port Adelaide. Oh, that oh, didn't happen no, either. Did not make it. Oh, I've had a shocker. <laughs> I've put in a real bad chip. GWS, Adelaide second, Richmond third, Geelong fourth. I put them in because you said I hated them. So everyone, everyone's on one. Oh, oh no. Shut up. <laughs> the the <laughs> Dockers. The Dockers. Hang on, where did they finish? Cam Sutcliffe. Cam Sutcliffe's going to take him to a flag. That was shit. Oh, f. Oh, the doggies. 
Nothing. Second Bulldogs. They were shit as well. Top. I know you're going to say it's gross and biased, but like our tackle defence is probably the best in the league. The room. Start it. I've only five places off. North South. Oh no, like nine places. Oh, man, Adam <laughs> 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 the first. This year, the footy shows are back from the dead. Oh, Ben Kemp's face says it all. <laughs> oh, literally, oh, I've there you li go. I reckon I've been the complete opposite of every question. <laughs> I've gotten a completely Anything wrong. Anything you touch turned to shit. My reaction to that question should uh, <laughs> get me a point. <laughs> Just eat it. <laughs> In, in, in fairness, so the NRL footage show has been given the axe, but the AFL footage show hasn't been given the axe yet, so oh, it's, it's, not quite it's a ticking, it's it's a ticking it's time. Quite, yeah. it's like back from the dead. Spaniel Just a bit of rust. Oh, there you go. Get around him. How many times did he watch this? Get around the Roger. Just a tubby little Asian fella. <laughs> That hairstyle you're running with, it's a very Gary Lyon like. Have you uh, modelled it on the great man? Or? Well, it's the only place where I have hair. Oh, he just came uh, up! Uh, just... <laughs> I don't have pubic hair. <laughs> I don't have it. The GWS Giants are the next. Oh, dear. That was lame. There's only had one. I'm not sure if it's on the car. No one's better right, than the Lions, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. We've been saying that for about 10 years now, and they've just done nothing. Two prelims in a row, they've been around for four years. <laughs> Perth fans, Oh, oh they got massive crowds! Oh, that's shit. Wasn't a seat left in the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> I got a few DMs about that as well. It's always branded everyone from Perth as simpletons. Who's a new coach that takes you to the flesh? Are you happy with Brad Scott? <laughs> you still hate Brad Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hang on, what'd you say? Uh, <laughs> are, you are you talking to me? <laughs> are, you are you happy with Brad Scott? Oh, I still don't like him. I don't like him or his brother. Oh, okay. I don't know too much about their coaching techniques. They just look like shit blokes. Shit angry men. <laughs> he didn't play that much. I put, <laughs> no, I, I put, I put the moz on this man. <laughs> he got, oh, he got yeah. dropped up about two games. <laughs> <laughs> he played about half the game. <laughs> Great call! Oh. Leaders. Oh. Imagine Dorf. Imagine how good he is. Out of them, he's probably the closest. Yeah, he was no. the Gibber. Maybe Gibber. Gibber. Maybe out of them, he had the most improvement <laughs> in one season. Yeah. But Gibbs was close to it all the time. Yeah, probably but that was so. more of a surprise. Yeah. Yeah, but, so. <laughs> but we're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, fuck, we could have we all picked Danger and it yeah. would have been. My surprises. <laughs> Rising star. Oh, they reckon Oh, God. Oh, there you go, he was about top three. I don't know how you can walk past a bloke who's played, I think it's five games of footy, and one of them is a premiership where he three or four goals, and that's Jackie Jack Gray. Gray. Did Jack Gray even play this year? It's yeah. probably about, about the highlights to stop the premiership. Yeah. He had a bit of a stinker. Plateaued. <laughs> You're not a fan. I didn't have a bar. You're not a fan don't of like the predicted don't uh, like rising star. They said that his heart was going to fail and no club wanted to take him because they were scared he was going to bloody die on the field. <laughs> Next minute he plays round one and bloody fittest bloke in the league. He was slotting goals for fun, old uh, Steve-O. He was a serious jet, that boy. He had a great year. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. Was yeah. Nice. My premiers are Adelaide, once again, Bryce Gibbs comes in. <laughs> you love the Crows. He's also Slough Bryce Gibbs. 38 touches, 13 goals. My premier is going to be the Tigers, back to back, oh. ticky time. Philly, I reckon, here we go. Yeah, Tigers back to back. <laughs> <laughs> Would any of you have had West Coast in your eight? Do you reckon mm. at the start of the year? Probably bottom oh, half. Yeah. Maybe. I don't no, know. I had him first, so I thought that was <laughs> yeah. the premiership. That is the end of us reacting to our pre-season predictions. We're going to do another one next year. I can't believe it got nearly 90,000 views. Hopefully we can turn up um, for next year's ones. I think we're going to, you know... <laughs> like the video for Doss's new haircut. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. Comment. It's as bad as much Comment as rock melon in the uh, comments. It's more of a shock than my bloody predictions. From 20,000 subscribers to 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> Look, once I hit 20,000 subscribers, I um, I went a bit Britney Spears. It, it, was, very, it was very overwhelming. Got Leave Kados alone. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I appreciate all the support, and uh, we will see you guys very, very soon.